Welcome to the Climb Pathways presentation, identifying personality types using the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. The goal of this lesson is to help you understand how you and your coworkers view the world and make decisions. The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator was developed by Katherine Cook Briggs and her daughter, Isabel Briggs Myers. They identified differing preferences on how people perceive the world around them and ultimately make decisions. Briggs proposed that all personalities are derived from four temperaments, meditative, spontaneous, executive, and social. These temperaments became the building blocks of Briggs and Myers' research. Derived from these temperaments are four dichotomies, extroversion or introversion, sensing or intuition, thinking or feeling, and judgment or perception. Each dichotomy addresses different aspects of how we see the world. The preferences selected within each dichotomy identifies personality type. There are 16 distinctly different personality types. No personality type is wrong or better. In choosing between extroversion and introversion, think about whether you enjoy group thinking or prefer to work alone. Extroverts get energy from active involvement in events and enjoy a lot of different activities. Do you feel excited when people are around? Do you like to energize other people and make things happen? Do you understand a problem better when you can talk about it out loud and hear what others have to say about it? In general, do you feel most at home when you're out in the world? Introverts get energy from dealing with ideas, pictures, memories, and reactions that are inside their head, in their inner world. Do you prefer doing things alone or with one or two people that you feel most comfortable with? Do you take time to reflect so you'll have a clear idea of what you'll be doing when you decide to act? Introverts might like the idea of something more than the real thing. In choosing sensing or intuition, the focus is on how you gather information. If you were to describe a room, what would you focus on, details or patterns? Do you consider yourself to be practical or imaginative? Sensors pay attention to physical reality, what they can see, hear, touch, taste, and smell. They're concerned with what is actual, present, current, and real. They notice facts and remember details that are important to them. Do you see the practical uses of things? And do you learn best when you see how to use what you're learning? Experiences speak louder than words to sensors. Individuals prone to favor intuition pay attention to impressions and the meaning and patterns of the information. They're interested in new things and what might be possible. They think more about the future than the past. Do you learn best by thinking a problem through rather than hands-on experiences? Do you remember events more as an impression of what it was like than the actual facts and details of what really happened? People who favor intuition may like to work with symbols or abstract theories, even if they don't know how to use them. Thinking versus feeling drives how you would make a decision. Now, imagine you're serving on a jury. Will you be persuaded by laws and justice or circumstances and mercy? Thinkers and feelers can be thought of as objective or subjective decision makers. Thinkers make decisions by finding basic truths or principles to be applied, regardless of the specific situation involved. They analyze pros and cons and are consistent, logical, and impersonal. Feelers believe they can make the best decisions by weighing what people care about and considering the point of view of others that might be in the situation. They concern themselves with values and what is best for people. They evaluate what is most likely to establish or maintain harmony. How you organize your environment offers insight into your personality type. Individuals governed by judgment tend to enjoy planned, controlled environments, while those who adapt well are governed by perception. A preference for judgment means an individual would have a tendency to focus on making decisions. Do you feel more comfortable when decisions are made? Do you like it when things are settled and organized? 
do you try to bring life under control as much as possible? A planned or orderly way of life is preferred by this group. In contrast, a preference for perception would mean a focus on taking in information. Are you willing to stay open to a final decision in order to gather more information? Do you prefer a flexible and spontaneous way of life? Understanding and adapting to the world rather than organizing it is the preferred outlook for this group. Understanding your own preferences as well as those around you will help create a more harmonious, productive work environment. While some personality types would appear to be better suited for certain job roles than others, every situation and combination of personalities can be improved through an understanding and appreciation of those around us.